Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back from here bringing out another NBA 2K20 rebuild and I did say in my last video that was my last rebuild but I lied. I am bringing out a Chicago Bulls rebuild and we are going to be doing the rebuild with uh, we are starting in the NBA draft and we are doing it with Obi I think his name is. Yeah, it's like Obi or something. And before we get any further into the video, leave a like if you enjoy my video, subscribe if you're new and let's hop into the video man. So the Chicago Bulls haven't been a winning franchise in quite some time. And we are going to hop into the draft. They haven't been winning since Jimmy Butler and Derrick Rose left. But the Bulls are a winning organization. Like, they're a winning franchise overall. With Michael Jordan there, Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler. And I did put the picks where they're supposed to be. But, um, I wanted to let y'all know that the Bulls need to get back to winning, man. There's a lot of Bulls fans I know that they, they just are upset that the Bulls can't win right now. And it kind of sucks. But let's send to our pick. Even though it's just right there. And hopefully he fell to us. I don't know if he did or not. Um, and he did, Obi. So we do get Obi. This is who this rebuild is about anyway. So let's send to the end. And the team isn't that bad. Like Obi is a 76 overall. And he could potentially start coming off the bench for us. He is a, to me, he kind of reminds me of um, uh, Amari Stoudemire, I want to say, where he can dunk on people pick and pop the mid-range 15 footer out there i kind of like him uh auto porter accepted his player option i'm going to, look to trade him this team isn't really that good and all in all we do need to get better um talent around zach levine like zach levine is really good for the chicago bulls but all in all with zach levine just as the main score they're not that good like the Demar Rosen, we don't even have that much cap. We have eight million, so we gotta get rid of some of these back contracts. Like first off, Cristiano Felicio, I don't know what world where he will make eight million almost. Like that's just ridiculous. And I will gladly take a first for Cristiano Felicio. And then another back contract, like I said, is Otto Porter. Man, I kind of want to hit on hit on Otto Porter. Could we possibly get like a point guard to help this team? Like OG and Anobi is the same overall, but a lot cheaper. I like OG. Terrence Ross is a nice player. Mike Conley makes too much money for his overall. Tyler Hero could be really good for this team, honestly, coming off the bench. Justice Winslow. Is this if this is OG's last year, I don't think I'm gonna go for him, but if he has like the team option, because I don't wanna pay him, yeah, I don't wanna pay him. Cause I do know Tyler Hero still has what three years left on his deal. Yeah, so we'll take Tyler Hero for the bench. Maybe move Zach Levine to small forward. And right now we should have some money. I do know Thomas Tanaransky, needs, we need to move his deal too. And maybe Thaddeus Young. Let's see what we can get for both of them. Those are kind of some bad deals. George Hill and Brooke Lopez, not really. Justice Winslow wouldn't be bad. He fits the youth of this team. Um, we could get Otto Porter back, Terrence Ross, no. There's just not like trades that you see, you know? Like Draymond doesn't fit the youth of this team. But I could possibly get something better for Draymond. I think I'm going to bank on that. And we do get a first. And I am going to try to move Draymond. Because I know if you make him a small forward, he goes up. I guess he stays the same. He stays the same. So what could we get for Draymond? I mean, he could be the center, I guess. Not really. Josh Okogie. I mean, I need a point guard, man. Is there a way I can get Gary Harris? Buddy Heald isn't bad, 84 overall shooting guard, but we just have too many guards now. Um, Buddy Heald does have a little bit higher trade value, so let's get Buddy Heald. And you get you get assets and you flip them, man. You get assets and you flip them. Tobias Harris, yeah, I can get Tobias Harris. Like, but do I want Tobias Harris on that big deal? I just, Karis LeVert is doing good, but these are all shooting guards, like I need I need Kuzma could be very interesting. Mitchell Robinson could be interesting too. We do need, we have Wendell Carter though. Like, Miles Bridges, Justice Winslow, Tobias Harris, man. Like, you get yourself a go to scorer here, but I think I'm gonna take. Because who's a small forward right now? Do we have a small forward right now? We don't. I might get Kuzma. And make Kuzma the small four because he does go up to like an 82, 83. So if they offer us Kuzma again, and they do, and Quinn Cook. So let's do the Kuzma deal. And then we could 
honestly just move um, Kuzma to small forward. He goes to an 80. And now let's go to free agency where we could look to get ourselves a point guard or someone to trade for a point guard. And uh, let's just look at the point guards right now. And you got Fred Van Vliet, who, I mean, I do like Fred Van Vliet, but I think I'd rather get DeMar and trade him if it's possible. I think that should be good enough to get DeMar. Maybe Anthony Davis bring AD to Chicago, you know, have him be the center. Did I even offer him a deal? And then if worse comes to worse, I mean, I guess we can get Fred Van Vliet. I'll also offer him that. And let's see who we get. And we get DeMar Rosen. So, I mean, oh, yeah. what is, I don't want to match. Do I want to match Chris Dunn? He could be the backup point guard, I guess. Um, so we do get Demar, and Fred is still out here. So let's see if we can get for Demar real quick. If we can get Chris Middleton, I can get John Wall for Demar Rosen. D'Angelo Russell. I think I'm gonna go with D'Angelo Russell here. I could get Chris Paul. Chris Paul's a Chris Paul is a good leader. I know people hate on Chris Paul, but the dude is a very good leader. DeJounte Murray would fit the youth, but I get DeJounte too much. Malcolm Brogdon, Buddy Hill. Um, I think I'm gonna go for it. I never really get John Wall in my videos. I never really have. But um I think I'm gonna go with D'Angelo Russell here. And that's gonna be all the moves we make, man. I should have went with maybe John Wall, but I think D'Angelo Russell fits better. So I am gonna be making some more trades and I will see y'all at my first trade. So this trade just popped up in the trade finder and it's D'Angelo Russell and Daniel Gafford for Duncan Robinson and Jimmy Butler. And I am gonna be making this deal and you're gonna be asking me why I'm making this deal. I do wanna bring Jimmy Butler back to Chicago. I feel like he should have always been in Chicago. He's not a good three point shooter, but Zach Levine can do that. And we did just get Duncan Robinson who I am gonna be trying to flip him and Kuzma for a better starting small forward. I do know that, I mean, I, I'm at point guard. I don't know why I said small forward. I do know that um, Jimmy Butler is up there in age. See, I would do this trade. I might do that trade just to see Jonathan Isaac's trade value because we do need a point guard. Derek White could be a point guard. Mm, let's do this trade for Jonathan Isaac and then flip Jonathan Isaac for a point guard because we do need a point guard and Jonathan Isaac is a good, he's, he's great in real life, but 2K makes him play like he's like a trash, like a trash can. I saw, I did see, uh, what's his name? Uh, Colin Sexton, which I'll probably do that deal. Yeah, so we'll get Colin Sexton here and he could be the point guard. I know his overall will dip a little if I make him a point guard. He goes back to 82. So the lineup for season number two, I really feel like it's good. Uh, is he even playing? Uh, yeah. Hutchinson doesn't need minutes. I'd rather a Kogi get him. And maybe by next season, OB will be a starter. I was going to price him to the G League. And maybe uh, Kobe White will actually be better. So I'm going to simulate the second season. And we'll see how good this Chicago Bulls team does. Here at the end of season number one, I suppose. Because we did send the first season. And Giannis is your MVP. Lucas Samanek is your rookie of the year for the Spurs. DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man of the year. Kawhi Leonard, defensive. Most improved goes to John Morant. And Mike Bulls and Hoja gets coach of the year again. So if you see in the bottom right corner, we did go 48 and 34. That was way better than last season. And we do not have anyone on the all NBA first, second, or third team. All defensive team. We do not have we have Jimmy Butler, which is very good to see. Did Jimmy Butler go to a 92? No, that was Joel Embiid. And then for the all rookie team, I really don't think um he played that much to make the team and he didn't. So OB didn't make the team, but let's go look at the player stats, man. I'm pretty sure someone went off. Let's check. Zach Levine had 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal a game, shot 55%, and then he shot 40, did he shoot 90? Nah, 50, 40, 80, and then Colin Sexton had 18, Laurie Marketing had 16, Jimmy, Buck Jimmy Buckets had 15, 6, and 5. Jimmy doesn't have to be scoring that much with the team we have out here. Laurie didn't shoot that well though, Tyler Hero did his thing, Kobe White, so the team wasn't bad, we had some defense and offense. Uh, but we did get the 7th seed, surprisingly, almost winning 50 games, got us the 7th seed. But let's simulate the first round so we can get past the Atlanta Hawks as it's Jimmy Butler versus Trey Young as Trey Young is taking a 2-0 lead. 
Um, let's look at the box score. And we're pretty much getting blown out. Game two, we didn't get blown out, but we did get blown out game one. Let's go on to the next game. Just simulate the round. And we're going to get swept, aren't we? We got swept by the Bulls, man. That kind of sucked. I mean, the Bulls. We got swept by the Hawks, man. That's pretty embarrassing if you ask me. But um, they might have signed someone. Did they sign anyone? I didn't even bother to look. Trey Young, Jordan Clarkson, Capella. They got Drummond and Capella. That could be a reason why. But simulate the playoffs. We do have one more season to try to go on and win a chip. I am probably going to be moving on from Laurie Marketing. As we saw, he shot 41% from the field, which is very horrendous. But um, the Atlanta Hawks, I guess, want to go on and win a championship with two big I guess the error now is go with two big men and you'll win a championship. They got Drummond and Capella, and they went on to win the championship. Or did I speak too soon? No, the Hawks won the championship with Trey Young and two bigs. I guess just get two bigs to clean up Trey's misses whenever he misses. But we are here in the offseason. The Ted to we don't even have our first round pick. We did make the playoffs, so it is what it is. I do want to see what I can get for Lloyd Marking, like I said. So while we're here, let's see. Oh, we gotta pick up this option. I forgot. Team player options. We'll pick up all these guys. Hutchinson, no. I mean, we could probably get Hutchinson. Where's Marketing at? I don't, even, I don't even see Lori. Qualifying offers. Lori's a free agent already. Did not know that. Guess I gotta pay him. So we gotta pay Lori. And I guess we'll pay him and try to trade him. I don't think anyone's gonna take him on that big ass deal I just gave him. But you never know, man. The Knicks could buy it. The Knicks, the Knicks try to go for everyone, man. The Knicks, they just suck. Knicks haven't been reveling in what, since Melo was there, which is, it kind of sucks, but wow. So I guess the game just said we're not gonna give Lori the big deal and we'll give him three million. I could have probably got something bigger for him if they took it. I could get Clint Capella, Terry Rozier, no, Justice Winslow, Mitchell Robinson. Um, I really don't see anything. I mean, Robert Covington goes to like 87, but he sucks on 2K. Gallinari, I don't really get Gallinari a lot, but we do need to make this bench better. And what if I throw in, because we do got Levine, what if I throw Sexton in? Can I get a better point guard with Sexton? So I found this trade where we will get Aaron Gordon and Mo Bamba for lower marketing, and I feel like that's better depth for the team. And so then I do still want to see if Mo Bama has good trade value if I make him power forward because he's at 84 and then he goes to 87 and I wonder what we can get for Mo Bamba I know Aaron Gordon goes up if we make him a small forward too and for Mo Bamba you can't really get that much for Mo Bamba as it seems I thought his trade value would be better but and then I do want to make Aaron Gordon I said a small forward oh, he stays the same I guess but we have too many power forwards so he could be the back of small forward so that's probably all the moves we're going to make for this year, man. I mean, the team is good, and I do want, I do want the rookie Obi to get some PT this year. Colin Sexton is the point guard still, so the team is in line for season number two. It's Colin Sexton, Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, Mo Bamba, and Wendell Carter Jr. with Kobe White, Aaron Gordon, and Obi and Tyler Hero coming off the bench. I do want to give Obi some more minutes. Uh, the Tyler Hero. I know he's a higher overall Tyler Hero, but it is what it is, man. So for this team, I want to see how far we can go without losing real quick. See, because I feel like this team is really good. And we do win against the Hornets, which shouldn't be that hard. And we already lost, man. I'm about to make this trade where I am sending Colin Sexton and Derrick Rose. I mean, Colin Sexton and Aaron Gordon for Derrick Rose and Don Maker. Uh, as y'all can see in the bottom left, the bottom right, we are 13 and 11 which isn't that good. And Colin Sexton isn't, he's doing all right, but I thought he would do better. And Derrick Rose is having a good season. I mean, they're pretty much the same, but I just want to bring Derrick Rose back to Chicago, man. So with that, Derrick Rose will be the starting point guard. I guess they want Kobe White to start and bring Derrick Rose off the bench. We'll see how that goes, man. But other than that, let's see how this team actually turns out to be good. So we're here at a very disappointing second season as we do go 39 and 42 
or 39-43. Here's all the stats, man. Um, there's nothing I can really say. Like, I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm just speechless right now because I feel like this team was really solid. Somehow we did make the playoffs, so there ain't, we're playing the Hawks again. That's just how, I mean, how bad the East was this year. Now, if we look at the standings, we did go, like I said, 39-43. Miami made it 38. The East was just terrible. Besides the Bucks. Um, we could look at the player stats real quick, and then um, we'll see what happened. Because, I mean, Derrick Rose did good. Butler, the whole team did good. I, I just don't really know. I do want to go see how good Colin Sexton did, though, for the Pelicans. And Colin Sexton and Aaron Gordon did their thing. He had 19. But like, he probably got more shots over here. He ended up doing better than Derrick Rose. But we did bring Derrick Rose back home to where we are in the playoff series against Atlanta once again. As Atlanta will probably sweep us again. We do take a game on Atlanta. Very fascinating as we are about to lose as a gentleman sweep. So that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Sadly, I cannot bring Chicago back to winning championships. But we did get them back to make the playoffs at least. So Bulls fans should be happy that y'all did at least make the playoffs. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see any more NBA 2K20 rebuilds before 2K21 drops or what 2K21 rebuilds that y'all would like to see when the game drops for my first rebuilds. And we'll see who wins the finals here as it's going to be... It looks like the Bucks are going to beat the Mavs. The Mavs lose twice in the finals as they do and Giannis...